I was a type A mom, um, but I was a nice type A friendly mom. And I always acknowledge my faults. That's how I disarm people. And then they would let me do stuff. Doing pictures for the first day of school. Now I used to do that. You know, everyone takes the pictures and they have the little, the little poster board or the little thing from Target, the chalkboard that says, you know, age, name, you know, their favorite subjects, all of that. I kind of, I did that for, for a couple of years. And then like this year, I was like, huh. My kid's hair, you know, was never combed and I wanted to do it in front of the house, but the house was messy because it was under renovation. You know, the workers had stuff everywhere. So I was like, well, I know what y'all look like. So we'll take pictures throughout the year. So, and I try to do a yearbook, which I feel miserably. I have, a, I have everything kind of organized. I just haven't put it all together yet, but I don't do pick the first day of school or the last day of school pictures. I'm just kind of over it. Um, it was great when my kids were in elementary school. Um, maybe, maybe when they're in a high school, once in middle school, maybe once in high school, so I can really see the drastic change. But now I'm like, we take so many pictures. I don't care. What do you guys think? Do you guys still do that? I know some of you moms who are really into, you're really into your pictures and your Instagram and you know, the setting, setting everything up just right. I know that's important to a lot of moms. I don't do it. I don't do that. School pictures are cool though. They are cool. But when you think about it, it looks the same every year. I mean, unless you're doing like kindergarten and then fifth grade and then like eighth grade where you can really see the changes, you know, I don't know. When I, when my, when I had my first son, just one baby, I, I would do the picture every month where he had like a really big, tall um, Elmo. So he would sit on the couch. My baby would sit on the couch and he would sit next to this big, tall Elmo that my sister gave me. And so every month, the first of the month, I would take a picture of him. I did it for five months and the growth was so drastic. He was like almost as tall as Elmo. No, I think I did it before his first birthday. So that it was like, wow, I can really see the differences. But after like third grade, I didn't really see that much of a change with my kids, but to each his own. I just, this was really the first year I was like, uh, let's go get something to eat. <laughs> so um, anyone else? I love taking pictures for the extended family. Oh yeah, that's true. You know what? You can ask my sister. I'm bad with pictures. If I, if I weren't on IG, you would see I have 22,000 pictures on my phone. I take pictures, they go into a black hole, and I don't do anything with them. I'm really bad with that, and I need to do better with getting their life off of the film and putting it in full paper form so my kids can see that they did exist and do things. So so that's something I need to work on, y'all. That's, so, that's something I need to work on. Y'all help me. Maybe I can get the love back for those first day uh, pictures. Okay. I had a mom fall out with me over an end end of year ceremony. She didn't want me to help because she felt I would overshadow her and she wanted all the accolades. Yeah, that you run into that with um, with co-ops. You have, you know, alpha, you have type A moms and you'll find those anywhere. I, I saw them when I was in public school. I was a type A mom, um, but I was a nice type A friendly mom. And I always acknowledge my faults. That's how I disarm people. And then they will let me do stuff. So, you know, it's that the Sun Tzu Jedi mind trick. But yeah, you start getting into that competition. And then it's like for petty stuff, like decorations. So you're competing over some fall leaves. It's like, you know, so yeah, I just leave that alone. Okay. Oh, you guys are active in here. I never did the first day of school picks either. I remember one of your IG posts, um, Aaron talking about that. I just take too many pictures already. Yep. Asan, I got a second grade pic of me and I still look the same more or less just clean cut. See, Asan, that's why women don't like you. You have one of you have those genes where you just stop aging after fifth grade. So um, we don't care about you. You're going to look like a fifth grader for the rest of your life. <laughs> but you had a beard. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what else? Uh